Joining me now is Shelley Horton from 9honey.com.au, Australia's leading women's website. Shelley, first up, the Queen has sacked her royal bra mm -hmm. Why? This is true. <laughs> OK, so what they've done is they've taken away the royal warrant, which is basically letting everyone know that this company did work for the royal family. They're called Rigby and Pella, and they're a very la-di-da lingerie company in the UK. And the reason that the Queen is not happy is the former owner has written a tell-all book. But here's the kicker. The title of the autobiography, Storm in a D-Cup. Oh, my God. Fantastic. I like, feel seriously, like there's a story Monday it. that's called that. <laughs> there is, actually, there <laughs> is. Um, and the thing is, the woman who's written it, she's 82. She is not trying to be offensive to the royal family, but she did give away a few secrets. So she let everyone know in this book that the Queen would never like to get fully undressed, so she would only undress to the waist and, like, have her pants underneath while she was being fitted. Like, like and... any normal person, can I just say, who kits off completely? Yeah, I, there's no way I'm stripping off in one of those rooms. It's weird. bad enough when they're <laughs> hoiking things around. Um, but the other thing is that the Queen likes the corgis to be in the fitting room with her. So she has the corgis running around, bless her. But the other thing that I think was a little bit tell-all was she admitted that when she was fitting Lady Diana that uh, she actually, Diana actually asked for some of the posters of the lingerie to give to Harry and William to put up in their bedrooms. Oh, That's a little. Dearie. One is not amused. Deary me. We can understand why she's mm. been given the flick. Um, moving on, a mother has spoken out about that race row yeah. jumper. Yeah. Um, jumper race row. Uh, what she said. Okay, so basically what it is is H&M in UK has used a four-year-old Nigerian model, a little um, boy, and he's wearing this hoodie. It says, um, coolest monkey in the jungle. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people feel that's very offensive. We had it in Australia with Adam uh, Goods when he was, you know, if you have ape or any of those connotations, they are considered racial slurs. So a lot of celebrities have jumped on board and tweeted. So we had LeBron James and P Diddy and The Weeknd all saying, hey, this is not on. The mother has now come out saying, this was never a racist thing. You guys are just jumping on a bandwagon and this is crying wolf. I disagree with her because as far as I'm concerned, we're actually looking at how it's affecting everyone else, not just the child wearing the jumper. It could be affecting, so if that child's walking down the street or any child is walking down the street wearing it, that it might be upsetting someone. So I kind of get annoyed with people saying political correctness. I would rather use the term emotional correctness. And I just want to ask, who is it upsetting if this jumper is not on sale? H&M mm -hmm. has now removed it from sale, but cynics are saying that it might have just been a big publicity stunt and what do you know? We're talking about it in Sydney. Yeah, I don't know. All I can see in those images is a really cute kid wearing really a Really cute kid. Anyway. I know. At lastly, a bit of bride is begging someone, anyone, <laughs> to buy her dress. Talk me through it. I love this. So the marriage is broken up and so this New Zealand bride has just gone, <laughs> can anyone take this dress off me? I do not know need the negative connotations. <laughs> she said she just wants to auction it off. She has said, described it perfectly, like, the dress is in an excellent condition, unlike my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and she said it's meaningless. She said her husband is a compulsive liar and that any money that she raises from the sale of this dress is going towards a gym membership from all the weight she put on <laughs> in a really unhappy marriage. The great news is it's already gone above its holding of 300 bucks, so she's going to make some cash. I love it. I'm not sure whether I'd be wanting to take on that bad karma, though. Oh, no. Quick dry clean. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Easy as. Awesome. It's lovely chatting to you today, Shell. We'll lovely see you to soon. see you. And for all of that and more, head to ninehoney.com.au.